morning, it's Allie from Inspiralized, and today I'm doing another What I Eat video, I'm trying to do them every other week, and I'm just sitting here at my computer, and I'm already on my second cup of coffee, uh, almost about done, and now I'm ready to go make some breakfast. So for some reason I've been really craving Greek yogurt and granola, I used to eat that all the time for breakfast, and I think I got a little burnt out. So I stopped eating it, but now I'm craving it again. So I went last night and bought all the ingredients. Let's get started. I'm ready to make my little Greek yogurt bowl and I'll show you the kind of Greek yogurt I use. I use this Faye non-fat plain Greek yogurt. I love this brand, it's the best. And I just found this granola actually in the grocery store downstairs and it's amazing. It The ingredients are incredible, let me show you. So as you can see, it's I mean, it's full of raw ingredients, which is always great. You've got sunflower seeds, dates, raisins, apricots, flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, uh, rolled oats, honey. It's just, uh, it's got coconut in there, and they even added in a probiotic. I really, really recommend it. And then, of course, I have blueberries, banana, and I'm really into hemp seeds right now. So I have my hemp seeds that I put in a mason jar that have been sitting in the fridge. First thing I'm going to do is add in my Greek yogurt, and I usually add in about a cup. Um, just depending on how hungry I am. So we got that in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna chop up my banana and I always use a half a banana. If you've watched any of my videos, uh, you know that I usually have a banana at some point in the day and I only eat half of it because I save the other half for right before the gym. It gives me a nice little boost. I love having bananas in the morning because they're so great wow, for potassium, obviously, but they just de-bloat you and um, they're amazing and they taste delicious. So I'm just gonna add them in here. And this won't end up looking like one of those Pinterest uh, yogurt bowls. <laughs> okay, and then I just really honestly add in like a, just a nice handful of blueberries. Sprinkle that in there. Now it's time for the granola, which is obviously the best part. And it says that a serving is a quarter of a cup. And if you're obviously watching your waistline, granola can really add up, calorically speaking. So I'm actually gonna measure out a quarter of a cup to kind of show you what it looks like. That is about a quarter cup measured out. And I'm just gonna sprinkle that in there. That ends up being a lot of granola, actually. I'm pretty impressed. And then my final step, starting to look beautiful. The final step is just a little pinch of these hemp seeds. Okay, I'm gonna add them in here. And we're done. All right, and there you have it. A nice bowl of Greek yogurt with granola, bananas, blueberries, and a little sprinkling of hemp seeds. I'm so excited to eat this. Okay, so I am back in the kitchen and I just found out some really exciting news. The Inspiralizer is finally available in the UK. Something I've been working on for uh, a little while behind the scenes and I'm just so excited uh, to see my hard work actually pay off and I'm so excited to finally bring the Inspiralizer to the UK for my UK readers. I always get emails and I have to say, no, we don't ship to the UK, but now I could just send them the link because we distribute. I'm so excited and I'm making a kale set salad right now that I'm also very excited about. Well, let me show you what I'm making. I have my kale here that I'm going to chop and use as the base for this salad. And then I also pre-prepared cubed butternut squash, which I roasted with salt, pepper, and cinnamon. That's gonna be really, really nice. And then I also made lentils. So I have some leftover lentils, which is gonna be my nice vegetarian protein source. And then I have pomegranates, which are so in season right now and so beautiful and add such a nice, you know, sweet crunch. I'm gonna add that to the salad. Of course, I have an avocado because nothing would be complete without avocado. I'm gonna just make a really simple vinaigrette with uh, olive oil and apple cider vinegar and Dijon mustard, salt and pepper. I'm gonna start with uh, chopping the kale here and I'm just gonna um, finely chop it. I feel that the smaller the kale is, the easier it is to eat, and I think I've said that in some of my former What I Eat videos. And I'm just gonna add that to my mixing bowl here. There we go. And next in is some butternut squash, and I'm gonna use, you know, just a generous handful. I love butternut squash, you really can't go wrong there. And then the same thing with the lentils. Just a nice handful. Perfect. 
and then a pinch of pomegranates. I don't like my salads too sweet, but the pomegranates, just a few, is really, really nice. And now I need to slice the avocado. Okay, I'm going to use, you know, about half of the avocado and dice it nice and small so that I get more avocado in every bite. I'm scoop that out, those cubes here, and add them into the bowl. And the final step is to prepare that dressing. I actually like to use a dressing shaker like this one. Um, it's by OXO. I'll put a link in the description of the video in case you need one. They're great for making your homemade dressings. I'm just gonna add in about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and a little drizzle of olive oil. And I'm going to season with salt and pepper. And the last ingredient is that Dijon mustard. So I'm just scooping it out of here. I'm just gonna add in here. Okay. And time to shake. There we go, a nice and light salad dressing to go over the salad. All right, the last step is just to drizzle over that dressing. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna toss to combine it all together. And you know, you could add nuts in here, some seeds maybe. Um, I think flax seeds would go really, really nicely here. Or maybe even, you know, just some almonds would be great. But this is honestly just perfect for me. And I'm just gonna transfer it to a prettier bowl to eat it. All right, here you have it. A simple kale salad with butternut squash, avocado, lentils, pomegranates, and a simple apple cider vinaigrette. And some goat cheese would go really, really nicely here. But I'm trying to be a little more conscious of my cheese intake these days. I cannot wait to eat this. Good afternoon. You might hear behind you my coffee maker rumbling. I'm making a pot of coffee. I need a little extra energy to make it through the day. And I'm making a little snack uh, of veggies and hummus. Let me just show you. All right, so I had already cut up the cucumbers and celery. They were in the fridge, and I grabbed my hummus, and this is the one that I'm using. Um, I kind of just try new ones out all the time. This one I really, really love. You can see the ingredients are great. They're cleaning friendly for sure. And I actually don't ever leave the container just here with the veggies, or else I'll literally eat a whole thing of hummus, and then my tummy doesn't feel very well after. So I'll just scoop out a little bit of this, and put it on my plate, and then sort of just pick and eat from there. And then obviously I'm having a cup of coffee. I just got back from the gym, and I'm sure I look like a crazy person. I'm very sweaty. Uh, I am about to make a chili, and I prepped everything, so now all I have to do is pretty much add it to the pot. I love this recipe. I make it a lot when I'm just craving something hearty, but obviously really healthy, and um, it's a vegetarian dish. It has quinoa and beans and veggies, and I always top it with avocado. Everything is prepped here. We have the beans, the quinoa, the chopped veggies, jalapenos, onions, diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, and a spice mixture. And I have a large pot heating with about a tablespoon of olive oil right now. And that should be ready, so I'm gonna add in the onions. And this is about a small onion diced. I'm just gonna mix that to combine and let that cook until they soften, which is about five minutes. Now that all of my onions are nice and soft and cooked, I'm gonna add in the jalapenos and garlic. And then here are all the veggies. So I have diced zucchini, chopped celery and carrots, and then I have one green bell pepper and one red pe bell pepper diced. So I'm just gonna give that a stir and let this cook until the veggies sort of soften up, you know, a little less than 10 minutes. Now that all the vegetables are nice and softened up, I'm gonna add in the rest of the ingredients and we're gonna bring it to a boil and cook it. So I have a mixture of a can of black beans and a can of kidney beans, and it's really important to make sure that you rinse those first to get rid of any excess sodium. And then I have here two cans of diced tomatoes. And then I have a can of tomato sauce. And I have my spice mixture, which has oregano, cumin, and chili powder. And finally, I have quinoa. So it's a little bit about, a little bit more than a half a cup. And I am obviously gonna mix that really, really well. And then I'm gonna season with salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna bring it to a boil.
this soup is bubbling very nicely so now I'm just gonna cover and cook for about 15 minutes and then uncover and then let cook another 15 minutes so I will check back soon it's time to uncover this and I can't tell you how good my kitchen smells but it smells really really good I'm just gonna give this a really really good stir and I can see the quinoa is already starting to fluff up and now I'm just gonna let this cook another 15 minutes uncovered and then it'll make it nice and thick because it'll uh, reduce or evaporate you can see that the chili is done everything is pretty much reduced and it's thickened ah oh, it smells so good so now I'm just gonna portion some out for myself stir in a little cilantro and top with avocado all right I have my bowl all ready and I have the pot right here with the finished chili and I'm just gonna pour in a big scoopful and I'm definitely going back for seconds um, and I have leftover avocado from today's lunch and I already sliced it through and I'm just gonna add it in into there and then I just like to you know pull together a little bit of cilantro uh, not pull together rip apart and just sprinkle it in there and that is it and that's it this would be amazing dinner for the weeknight if you prepped ahead on a Sunday and then you can freeze it and then just reheat it. But I obviously made it fresh tonight and it just looks so good. I cannot wait to dig in. I am ready to eat my chili and I am signing off. If you like this video, as always, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to leave any questions or comments underneath the video. I'm always happy to answer anything. If you have a question about recipe or any of the kitchen tools I used, I'm here. So, oh. That's the timer. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good night. Bye-bye.